it's Matt here and today let's take a look at how to remove areas of our lawn to create a sustainable drought tolerant garden filled with native plants. We had an area of lawn that was difficult to maintain and never seemed to grow without lots of care. The decision was made to remove this small area of lawn and replace with drought tolerant native plants. We had a list of goals for our new garden. The new garden once established, had to be easier to maintain than the previous lawn. Grow plants that are drought tolerant and are adapted to our local soil conditions. This ensures less of a reliance on outside inputs, such as fertilizers, compost, and irrigation. Incorporate as many native plants as possible into the garden to help support our local wildlife. Many of the plants we purchased came in the form of plugs. These are smaller in size, but less expensive than buying mature plants. Native grasses provide four season interest and make a great addition to almost any garden. Their long root system enables them to survive some of the toughest droughts. Besides being low maintenance, beautiful and drought tolerant, native grasses also support our local wildlife. Native grasses act as a host species to our skipper butterfly caterpillars. Many bird species will feed on the seed heads during the harsh New England winters. Out of all the herbaceous perennials you can plant in your garden, goldenrod is by far the most beneficial to our local wildlife. Hundreds of species of insects depend on the goldenrod to complete their life cycle. Wait to cut back your garden until the following spring. This will provide a much needed food source to our overwintering birds. Milkweed is a must for any home garden. Milkweed is the only host plant for the monarch butterfly caterpillar. This butterfly species has declined as much as 80%, mostly due to habitat loss. We chose a species of milkweed known as butterfly weed that would do well in our dry and fertile soil. Besides being a host species for the monarch butterfly, the beautiful flowers are beneficial to our local pollinators. Spotted bee balm is a personal favorite. I love its fascinating, almost whimsical blooms. This species of bee balm is the one native to our ecoregion here in New England and is adapted to full sun and poor soil conditions. Besides being beautiful and beneficial to wildlife, Spotted bee balm is part of our heritage. The indigenous people of New England would use this plant for a refreshing tea, and the American colonists drank spotted bee balm in protest to the taxes put on English tea by the British Empire. Once established, the garden should not require much or any irrigation. In the meantime, newly planted perennials, even the drought tolerant ones, will need a good drink during the first year. An easy to install rain barrel is a great way to water your plants and at the same time, save water. With a little time, we hope this labor of love will become a place of beauty, all while making a little room for our animal friends.